Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the POUs. For those who don't know, POUs start for Program Organization Unit, and in the presentation, we're going to talk about more about this. So, the idea of this model is getting started with software. Uh, we're going to start with the POUs. So, if we see here in the presentation, once we are in the software, we have three different types of POUs. We have program, function block, and function. Here in the presentation, you can see uh, the difference, okay, from function block and function, okay. The idea of using the function is because you only return one type of variable. Uh, in this case, in the system, we have, for example, the AND, okay we have two inputs and one output and the output will be boolean variable okay but we can configure the type of boolean the variable that we want for the function so in here we can use the system like this or we can create our own function the same can apply for the function blocks okay where you have more than one input and you also have an instance that is located in this case if you're using the function blocks the different language you have the instance for the function block in the system we have for example the timers okay so the timer requires an instance okay and you can see here that you have more than one outputs okay so in this case this is the function block and for the function block that we're going to cover later we have more characteristics we're going to cover later and we also have the type program, which is one of the most important here because is where our code is going to be generated. Okay. And then in the code, we can use another program, call other programs, and also call these function blocks and functions. So if we continue with this, we can see the different visualization that we have for different codes. Okay. In the different language that we have in the software. So. The standard one is the ladder, okay? So you can see here the contact and the coils that you can use. Another function, another language that we have is the function block diagram, okay? You can see is similar to the one that we're gonna focus later, the CFC, but the difference between this one is that this one, the code is in ranks similar to the ladder, and here you can specify the ordinal execution, okay? And then we have a structured test, as you can see over here, okay, in text. I also have the SFC, sequential function chart, okay, similar to GraphSet. So these are the languages that we have in the software. Later, we're going to focus in each of them so we can start working with the different languages. So how to add a PRU in our software? The first thing that we need to do is to go into the application tree, which is, has this icon okay, in the software. Then if we are in the application, we just right click on it. We should receive this view with a lot of things to add. We just need to go to add object and then we can find the POU that we want. Another way to do it is go into this plus green icon over here. Click on there and you find some small view of the thing that we can add and then we can select the POU. So what we're going to do now okay is to see the configuration for the POU. So once you add the POU okay it's time to configure. So the first thing that we can configure is the name so we can identify in our program okay then define the type of POU okay and based on the type we also have a, a small description next to the name. Okay, we have for program PRG. For function block, we have FB. And if we select the function, we have FUNG. Okay, that I usually use as FC. Okay, once you have configured that, you have to select the language. Okay, if you click on here, you should be able to see all this. Okay, the one that I mentioned before, the text, the SFC, which is similar to graph set, the ladder, the function block diagram, and we have these two, which is the same, but this one is more oriented to page, so it's like you have a paper and then you program the code. And based on the different kind of language that you have, okay, you can see different um, 
icons next to the name of the program. So now we have seen this, what we can do is to go to the application. Okay, so I'm going to open the application. This one. Okay, so let me just put it like this so you can see it completely. Okay, good. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to the application tree. Okay, application tree. And here in the application, we can see that by default, um, the system create this GBL, if I run the PUU. So right click on the application, add object, and then you can find the PUU. Other thing is go to this place icon over here, click it, and then you can see a small details. If you want more, you have the complete list. So PUU. Here we can add the name. So PRG uh, training. Okay. Here you need to select the function type. Okay. The type function of the PUU. I'm going to select program and here you can select the language. So if I select LD, okay, you can see here that you have this icon, the contact and you have the PRG. Okay. And if I, for example, now use a PUU as to do, 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 PRG uh, test as a function block and I use a structure test, you can see here that we have a different icon and the identification for FV for function block is explicit over here. Okay, so this is how you can create the PUUs in the software. Later, we're going to see how we can call the PUUs using the task, but at the moment I want to, to see how you can generate the code. Okay, we're going to cover later how you can program in different languages, but just want to give you an idea how to start creating peer use. Okay, program, function block, and function in our software. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one. Thank you.